Hey everybody, I am Jeff at Fred Anderson Toyota and we have a treat. We've got our master diagnostic technician, Ali, here. We've got a Tacoma and we've got a RAV4 hybrid. We're talking traction control today and Ali, he's promised to be able to clear some things up about traction control. First of all, a lot of vehicles have a track off button in their vehicle. Is that just for trucks or SUVs or cars and is it just for Toyota? No, uh, almost every brand out there has traction control. Mm -hmm. It's part of the new uh, technical stuff on the cars. And traction control stops the rear wheel from spinning. And its main purpose is to keep your vehicle going on a straight line. It does not actually increase traction in your vehicle. And the way it works is the same speed sensors, the same actuators, that work on anti-lock brake systems, mm -hmm. they work in traction control. And when you're accelerating, the speed sensors will show the speed of each wheel. And if they show one of the wheels spinning without the car moving, they apply the brakes on that wheel. They normally take away the energy from the engine. They reduce engine power. So you have less likely of spinning the wheel. And the wheel that is not slipping, not spinning, will try attempt to uh, move the vehicle forward. One misunderstanding is, does traction control increase traction? No, it does not. It just makes your vehicle go straight. So if you were to get stuck in mud, if you were to get stuck in ice, you're still going to get stuck with traction control. All traction control does, again, it makes you go straight. And uh, they were asking when to use traction control if you get stuck in a mud that has solid ground underneath it or if you get ground, uh, stuck in ice that has solid ground underneath it if you turn your traction control off because the wheel spins it will dig through the ice or it'll dig through the mud and it'll get to the ground underneath it which has traction that does increase your traction in this particular vehicle we also have a locking rear differential. That means both wheels spin at the same time. Traction control is no longer working because both wheels are locked together. And in that particular case, yes, you do have better traction. Okay, and then what's another instance that somebody would turn the traction control off? What about on hills? Yes, on hills that are uh, sandy or muddy, you're going up a steep hill and you're accelerating you're liable to have a wheel spin. And uh, you can't turn off traction control because in that case, you're digging through the dirt on top of the road or mud if you're going uphill. Okay, and I know that we don't endorse this at all. I'm hitting you with this one anyway. If somebody wants to do, like a, a crazy person wants to do donuts in the snow in a parking lot or whatever, would you do that with or without traction control? Again, I know kids don't try this at home. You're not endorsing this. How does that affect traction control, something like that, having fun? If you're not going to do that, you do turn off your traction control. And please don't tell your parents you're doing it. Excellent advice. Now let's look at that traction control off button and see how the traction control off button works in a vehicle. Okay, Ali, we are in a RAV4 Hybrid XSE now. What do you think about that traction control button? What should people look for? Okay, on every vehicle, there's traction control. On some vehicles, you have traction control off. In this particular case, it's right on top of the center console. Mm -hmm. And there's usually an indication in the combination meter where there is a word that traction control is working or it's not working. I can't speak for every other model, but I know in Toyotas, this is a momentarily switch and whenever you start the vehicle, it always starts with traction control on because mm -hmm. that is the safest way to drive. Okay. In order to turn traction control off, you push the button, which says heat. <laughs> yeah, we got the heated seats. You turn it off, then it will show in the instrument cluster that is turned off. And the reason it's saying that is because the safest thing to do is with the switch off and traction control on. Mm -hmm. When you turn traction control off, you can get your wheels to dig in through whatever is 
causing the vehicle to slip at the time and get to the harder ground underneath it. On all other conditions, there is really no reason to turn off traction control. Now that was the RAV4 Hybrid. We're in a Tacoma here, a pretty tough looking Tacoma. Is the button gonna be in the same place for all vehicles? No, the button is not in the same place in all vehicles. Sometimes it's put on the center console. Sometimes it's put on a, a driver's side, outer portion. Uh -huh. Sometimes it may be on the roof. And uh, sometimes I think like uh, the engineers are trying to hide the buttons on us. <laughs> on some vehicles we don't have it the best way you can do it you can survey your vehicle itself or read the owner's manual to find where your traction off button is okay and i did notice that sometimes on some cars especially older cars if you turn that button off it'll say track off it won't be a message like you saw in the rav4 hybrid so the message it's generally going to be a, a certain color message, right? Like it might be like an orange message, just almost like a, a yellow flag saying, are it you may sure? Be, it may be in some of them, it's in white. The way the color system works in the dash, usually just a message that something is turned off and on is in white. If it's of reasonably important, but not for you to stop, it's in orange. If it's in red, you stop or you take it to the dealer. And uh, I don't know which color they put it on. They're usually in white or yellow. I've seen them in both in all of our vehicles. Ali, can you show us on the Tacoma what the traction control off button does as far as your multi-information display? Yes. All right. Uh, just turn it on. Uh-huh. In white, it says traction control off. Okay. There's a yellow light with a car that looks like it's sitting on bacon. That means traction control is off. Auto LSD is a electronic limited slip differential in the in the back of the vehicle. This car doesn't have it, but it electronically marks it. Okay. In the bottom is the pre-collision system. Because you have turn traction control off, that has turned itself and a parking assist off. Okay, fantastic. So when you turn the traction control off on this one, it actually turns off your pre-collision system as well. Yes, it does. Okay, excellent. Ali, thank you so much for talking about the traction control. Hopefully that clears up why you would use it, what that button even does, and you can look for messages when it does get turned off and then you'll know accordingly what to do. So thank you for your expertise, Ali. Um, any advice for future questions or anything like that? Yes, uh, hope we have demystified traction control, getting stuck in mud and ice. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and please be nice about it. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great week, Ali. Thank you.